Hello and welcome back to Everything Tumblr Tutorials. I am Rebecca Escott and I'm excited to show you on this Black Beast 20 Skinny, a three color, color shift tumbler. So today we're gonna use Casey, Mermaid Tail, as well as Dragon Scales. And when applying the epoxy glitter method, it does not take very much. About five mLs would be sufficient for this tumbler. As you will see, I will use my torch just to kind of help level out the epoxy before I apply any of the glitter. We're just going to do a glitter swirl and it does not need to be perfect at all because of the design that I chose for this tumbler, it does not need to be perfect. This will not be a right or wrong tumbler. Just when using multiple glitters, make sure you pop off and try to get that excess glitter to come off before going on to the next glitter. Now I sealed this tumbler three times with Rust-Oleum Matte Clear Sealer and then I applied the Glitter Craze Quick Set. In the next clip here, you're gonna see that I'm gonna sand the tumbler using a 100 and a 220 grit block from Amazon. I never show this process and I get a lot of questions about how I sand my tumblers. Here's another example using chunky glitters. And you wanna sand it really, really well. So I have a huge tendency to sand, feel, sand, feel, and just make sure everything is nice and smooth before getting another coat of epoxy onto this tumbler. When it's completely sanded, you're going to want to use soap and water and wash it really, really well. So as you can see, I already applied the next coat of epoxy and I went ahead and placed the decals. This is 631 vinyl because you would not want to use anything permanent and difficult to remove. I'm choosing a gloss black for my base, but you can choose whatever color your heart desires. Because of the holidays, this tumbler sat for nearly two days and completely dried before moving on to the weeding process. As you can see, I already started the weeding process off camera. This was a very time consuming project. This is not difficult and can be very newbie friendly. However, patience is a virtue on this tumbler. So as you can see, I'm using the Mr. Nola's weeding tool. I pick up just enough and then I'll use a set of tweezers to help pull and remove the vinyl. If you're gonna do the entire tumbler with this design, I highly recommend taking several breaks. Because I didn't show you the applying the decals, I wanted to give you a little sneak peek as to removing the decals. So I fast forward a bit just so you can enjoy and see me removing the decals. But you want to make sure when you're completely done that you go back through with a nice thorough check, even if you use another set of eyes, and make sure you have all of those little teeny tiny pieces removed before your final coat of epoxy.
So I do end up weeding the rest of this tumbler off camera because like I said, it's a very tedious task and it took me quite some time. If you're not gonna add a decal, then this can be your final coat and you can use whatever coat of epoxy of your choice that you prefer to use. Once you're satisfied with your epoxy coat, make sure you use your torch to pop any bubbles you may or may not be able to see. I want to thank everyone so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe for new tutorials coming soon.